Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Axe Japan, and uh, it's been a minute. Um, and by minute, I mean like four months. <laughs> uh, so yeah, it was a bit of an unofficial hiatus uh, for me. Uh, so I just wanted to have a sit down and just sort of, uh, yeah, just tell you guys what's been going on and uh, what I'm planning on doing. So I don't want to go on too long about all the stuff that happened, uh, but basically just since October, uh, it was just like illness after illness after illness. Uh, um, there was something and then I got COVID and then ended up uh, lose. I got fired from my job um, just before Christmas, which was wonderful. Um, and then, yeah, just since then, just other things, personal things. and But yeah, just to cut a long story short, I've just, yeah, I just needed a break uh, from, you know, the, the YouTube thing. Just not much motivation really to do you know, covers and things like that. And all that other stuff contributed uh, to it as well. But mainly I've just been really focused on the, the project that I'm working on uh, just now, uh, which is, you know, something I wanted to sort of officially announce today. Uh, some of you who follow the channel uh, closely might have realized, you know, what it is. Because I've been posting little shorts um, of new music, uh, which is uh, turning into an album. Um, and this... Uh, it's going to be the first album I've worked on since um, probably ab about 2006. Uh, so it's, it's been a while since I've actually done a, a full length album, which is exciting, but it's also, I, I realize how much work it is. I know a lot of you that watch the channel probably don't really care too much about my own uh, original music and things like that, but you know, it's something that I've incorporated into the channel, you know, every so often, you know, writing's always been my main passion, uh, as well as playing guitar. Uh, so right now I'm just in creative mode. Uh, so nothing else can really, uh, interrupt that. Uh, so, you know, when I, when I sit down to actually do creative stuff, like I can't really focus on anything else. So that's why things have been a bit quiet on the, on the YouTube front. I'm super excited to announce the project and sort of give you uh, an idea of what it is. So for a long time now I've been uh, wanting to incorporate sort of synth wave um, influences into something. Uh, I just didn't really know what until I started uh, writing these songs and sort of intentionally trying to incorporate like synth elements uh, into it. Um, and when I'm talking about synth elements I'm talking about sort of retro like you know 80s movie soundtrack uh, kind of stuff. It's just the stuff I absolutely love. So I just thought trying to combine that into stuff I normally write, you know, kind of rocky, hard rock, metal stuff, um, you know, just to see what would happen. And the results have actually been really cool. I'm super happy with how everything's turning out. I'm getting ahead of myself. I wanted to tell you what it's called and everything. So I'm actually going to re release this under a different name, uh, not just, not Axe Japan. Uh, like I've done before, it just didn't make much sense to release it under Axe Japan because uh, I feel like I'll keep this going. Yeah, just who knows where it'll go. Um, so the name of the project uh, is Thunder Station. Uh, it's kind of a name I've had kicking around uh, for a while and I just thought it just suits this project perfectly. And I will play you a little snippet in a bit uh, of some of the music that I've been working on. Maybe just a little bit of one song just to give you uh, a taste of what's to come. Uh, so the co the album is actually a concept album um, and it's sort of based, uh, I've taken a lot of influences, uh, a lot from The Dark Tower, which is my favorite book of all time. I'm also a huge Fear Factory fan and I love the concept of the album Obsolete, uh, where it's basically a sort of, uh, you know, the machines have sort of taken over kind of thing, uh, like Terminator, I guess. Um, so yeah, it's kind of a story about an AI that's basically uh, become self-aware and like over you know the course of like hundreds of years, it's basically <clears throat> taken over the world and all that's left is just this one gigantic city where basically the uh, you know the robots and the AI sort of basically rule and uh, humans don't have much uh, chance of survival. Uh, and the hero of the story uh, is basically making the journey to the city to rescue, uh, like, the love of his life. Um, and on the way, he meets uh, this old model android called uh, Astra-19, who also wants to get to the city to basically destroy the AI. So they kind of uh, join forces um, and end up helping each other uh, to the city and basically get 
to where they need to be and get through all the dangers that face them. So the album's going to be, uh, there's nine songs, uh, half of them are going to be with vocals, maybe more than half, I think maybe five will have vocals and there'll be four instrumentals. So the five vocal songs will, you know, sort of tell the story uh, and there will be different vocalists. So I've got vocalists for the hero, vocalists for the Android Astro 19, vocals for the evil AI, uh, and also for the, the, the hero's love, basically. So yeah, it's really cool. I've got a few singers lined up. Uh, Cher is involved. Uh, she's going to do one of the songs. Uh, and I've got a few other vocalists, uh, and I think there's one song that I will be singing on as well. So it's going to be a, a real mixed bag of, of stuff, but all real awesome singers, um, and they're going to do the songs justice, I promise. So yeah, I'm going to let you hear a little uh, piece of a song uh, right now, uh, and what I'll do is I'll throw up uh, some artwork uh, that my brother uh, has done. Um, so my brother's getting really into AI-generate uh, artwork, uh, so I basically asked him to help me out and he's going to do all the art basically for this project um, So we came up with a really cool concept for a, a cover uh, And yeah, this is this is kind of what we got so go check out his Instagram uh, The link will be in the description. It's at Kenganator. So go follow my brother uh, and see all the cool stuff that he's making because uh, it's, it's really awesome the stuff that he's coming up with I haven't actually decided what song I'm gonna I'm gonna play uh, right now So here's a new sample of the uh, new Thunder Station music
Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that little sneak peek. I'm gonna make a new YouTube channel for this, uh, which I'll be posting on. I will also be posting stuff on this channel as well, uh, in the hopes of sort of getting you guys to sort of subscribe to the, the Thunder Station channel, uh, if you are interested, because um, I think for those of you who are interested, it'd be really cool if you went over there and then I can kind of keep that a little bit separate. Uh, so I'm not just annoying people uh, with my own music who are only interested in, uh, in uh, Japanese covers and stuff like that. So that would be really cool. I really appreciate it if you went over. The link should be in the description by the time this video goes out. But yeah, I would really appreciate it, guys, if uh, if you are interested in the music and, you know, what I do uh, creatively, uh, it'd be really cool if you could go over there and subscribe. Thank you. Uh, so enough of that. So just uh, in terms of future of this channel, the Axe Japan channel, uh, I do want to keep going with it. Um, Definitely. I want to just, uh, for now, I really want to focus on guitar stuff, so I'm going to just try and keep focused on guitar covers and lessons. Probably not a whole lot of stuff in between. I just feel like there's so much now uh, on YouTube, uh, people covering the Japanese music scene, and, you know, they're probably better at it, better at it than I am. Uh, I'll just uh, stick to the guitar stuff. Um, for now, anyway, we'll see how it goes. I have actually been contemplating making a second uh, channel uh, for covers that are not Japanese uh, music um, because sometimes I just want to play uh, other stuff you know uh, so I'm a big I'm obviously like a huge 90s fan most of the music I sort of got interested in as I was growing up and playing guitar was was all 90s stuff so I'm um, thinking about just doing the same kind of thing as Axe Japan but doing just all 90s music basically so like could even just call it Axe 90s. Uh, so yeah, I've, it's just an idea right now, but um, let me know what you guys think, if uh, that would be cool, if you would, uh, if, if, you know, that might be something you're interested in. It'll pull in like another type of audience, I guess. Um, so, you know, it might actually, if they know that I do the Axe Japan channel as well, might actually get more people uh, listening to Japanese music too, which is always a good thing. So that's about it guys i just you know just a really quick video just to let you guys know that i'm okay um i'm still alive although last week i did break two toes so i'm sitting here with two broken toes right now uh, which is not fun but i'm surviving um and yeah starting to get the motivation back to make videos again um but like i said i'm just gonna sort of keep my focus on this project and the album um, and just to kind of give you an idea where everything's at, I've almost recorded, I've got one song left to do, to track guitars for. Everything else is done, uh, and then it's just waiting for the vocals, really. Um, so I'm hoping uh, we've got like another month, um, maybe a bit more. So yeah, we're talking April time, I think, for a release. Um, and uh, no Kickstarter this time, I'm doing this all myself, and uh, we'll work out how you know, things are going to get released and sold and stuff. Uh, contemplating making physical copies. Uh, we'll see. I don't know. I don't know yet, but for now, definitely a digital release, uh, but we'll see. We'll see how it all goes. I just wanted to say a huge thank you. Thank you for uh, staying subscribed to the channel, even though I haven't been posting anything uh, really much. Um, I really appreciate the patience uh, from you guys and I always appreciate your support like so much. Um, so let me know what you think of this, uh, of the, of the new project. Um, and yeah, there'll be, there'll be stuff to come. Uh, it won't be long. Oh, and I forgot to say one of the vocalists is actually going to be coming here to record. Um, so that's going to be really cool. I'll try and film that whole process and, uh, that, that should make for a really cool, interesting video as well. So yeah, so just, yeah, lots of stuff to look forward to. And uh, yeah, thank you so much again. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And uh, yeah, we'll see you very soon uh, in the next video, whatever that may be. But yeah, until then, take care, guys. And uh, yeah, we'll speak to you soon. Bye-bye.